All right, let's see the solutions. You have 10 students. Uh, they stand in a line. You want to keep ice cream. You don't want to give the same flavor to any consecutive students. So let's try to think the number of ways to construct one uh, ways to give out ice creams. So the first student, okay, how many ways, how many choices do we have for the first student? So the first student, you have four choices, right? The next one, since you cannot give the same flavor to consecutive students, then the second one you have, uh, instead of four, you have three. The third one, how many choices do we have? So um, suppose you give one flavor to the second guy, right? So this flavor is not available to the next one. So again, uh, the third one, we only have three choices and so on. So you all after the first one, everyone has three choices until the last one, right? So the number of ways, number of ways equals four times three times three. How many of them? So it's nine of them. So it's uh, four times three to the ninth. So that's the, the answer, okay? Um, you need you can work out the, the actual number, but I, I won't do it now, but you can actually use calculator or anything to compute it out, okay? All right, so um, this motivates us to uh, be to try to count some, some some other things, okay? All right, so let's look at one important uh, mathematical object objects that we uh, we use when we want to count stuff, okay? So if, if you have a set, okay, say if your set have uh, 1, 2, 0, 1, 2, 3. And if you, uh, s sets are usually an order. So uh, this set and uh, 1, 0, 3, 2 are, are the same set, okay? But uh, we when we can pick out uh, elements of the set, if we uh, take out all elements of the set and order them, say maybe uh, this might be one of the ordering, one, two, Zero, one, two, three. This is one one ordering of that. Okay, so uh, or we can pick it in the other way. So we can say three, two, zero, one. This is another or way to order elements from this set. Okay, it for each uh, each way of ordering. So when we take our uh, element of a set and order it, we say we permute. You permute. You permute the order of uh, elements of the set. Each of these, each ordering, okay, of every every element of the list of, of the set, a set, is called a permutation. A permutation, okay. So if you have, uh, so this th there, are, there are probably too many here. So let's look at another set. So suppose I have uh, orange, apple. And uh, what else? Uh, orange, apple, and 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 grapefruit. Okay, I. Th there are many ways to permute them, so you can get uh, O G A. Okay, O A O O G O A G O G A. Uh, what else? Uh, a O G A G O. And finally. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, G O A G A O. So there's six of them. Okay. So this is the all possible permutation, all possible permutations of this uh, set. Okay. All right. So that's the one example of uh, permutation. So permutation is one way to order all elements of a set. Okay. So let's uh, try to count it. Okay. So to be concrete, uh, let's try to count permutation of, of this set A, B, C. Okay. So how many are there? All right. So let's go back and try to think a little bit on how how we can uh, select uh, a permutation. Okay. So a permutation is order. So uh, you the first you need to pick. So that this set has three elements. So you need to pick all the three elements. Um, so our choice for the first one. Is so we have nothing here, so we can pick uh, either A, B, or C, right? So pick one, and then after we pick uh, one of these, 
in the second step uh, if you have already picked a right so the second step of this you can pick uh, B or you can pick C for this the second step you can pick A or C and the last choice from the first step you can pick A or B and the last step you are you have no choice uh, you have only one choice so you have a b you have to pick c this a c you have to pick b this a b b a so you have to pick c this a and this uh, b and this a and then you get uh, for this you get a b c this is a c b uh, a uh, no b a C B C A this one will be uh, C A B and then uh, C B A so that's the, uh, the all the six permutation so let's try to call them so uh, if you no notice that is that in the first step we have uh, three choices in the second step whatever choice we made in the first step in the second step we have how many choices do we have just two right in the last step uh, we have only one right so the number of permutations that we have is actually uh, three times two times one okay when you have a number like this uh, we have a no notation for it so it's we write three factorial so uh, f when you have uh, something say uh, uh, n factorials it's it's the product of n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 and so on up to uh, 2 up to 1 on oh, this convention that we define that 0 factorial is just 1 so that everything works okay so this is uh, one something that looks strange but uh, let's take it for for that okay zero factor is is one all right okay uh, so this is a specific example of uh, counting permutation of a set of three elements so let's try to uh, find a way to count permutation of a set set with n elements okay so if you think about it uh, we can use the same approach we look at the first step and the first step we pick something from the set right so uh, how many ways do we have here in the second step for each choice that we made can you figure out how many uh, choices do we have and is this number depends on the choice that we made on the first step all right so um so let's try to follow that uh okay uh, let me stop the, at this point. Uh, I'll let you think of it for a little bit, and then uh, in the next clip, I'll give you the answer and, and conclude uh, the discussion on, on permutation.